Okay, we'll start with the Mr. C49S, size 10. This is a Wally Wing Emerger. We'll just attach a little bit of tying thread at the front here. We don't need much at all. Just like that. Take that away. What we need is to put a little bit of wax just on top of the thread like that, stop the wing from slipping. We need a mallard flank. So what we do first is we strip off everything underneath and then we open the flank feather out like this, equal on each side. One too many there. We just separate that. Two too many actually. There we go. We can pull all that back. And we want to trim off this here. That's looking good. We want to wet the end of the ankle like that. This is a nozzle tube from a UV resin. And then we pull this through. You can see the two wings developing now. We want them about the right length for the hook. So we can take a little bit more there. I want to move this back up. And we put one loose-ish turn and then we can pull this off slowly. And we go back, tightening up as we go back, keeping pressure on your tying thread. Slowly removing the tube, holding pressure on your tying thread, your bobbin. We can do that. It's okay here because this will be under the thorax and then we can trim away this at an angle like so and we can tie this down good then what I like to use here is a flat edge, like a pair of scissors, and we just push this back into position. You don't have to position it very precisely right now, just so it's more or less right. There we go. Then we take only two fibres, not one, not three, two from that side and we separate the wing like so and then on the other side only two fibres again. If you choose one fibre it's not enough and if you choose three it's more than not too much and it'll rip the stem in half. I'll see if I can do this this way so you can see it happening. There we go. All the way down. Finish with that one. There we go. So now I want to cut out the flank feather stem. Careful you don't cut anything else. And then we'll cut off these. And there's the wings. You can just position those 
later, but what I like to do now is just take a little drop of varnish right on the wing base. And we can position them a little better. Then we go back up here and we go around the wing base like you would a parachute post. Keep them in position. And go up. This is just so we have some way to wrap the hackle. That's good. Yep, and we go back down here. To, oops, about there. And we take a, here I've already stripped a quill. You need a little larger quill for a larger fly like this. So the best place to take these quills from is just under the peacock high. And I'll just tie this in. Go back up. I take these from a uh, dyed peacock top eyes and uh, these quills here are just super for stripping yourself and then I just use a piece of wax and hold the quill down on a table and pull it through the wax and it strips all the hair off. So we just go up here I just want to make that body a little more even. There we go, move that forward. Take my hackle plier and we'll wind this on. Good. Take it back. Lock that off. Tie it down. Trim it off. Go back over here and then a little bit further down the body and we'll take a peacock hurl I'll have trim that off. Get rid of that. Take a hackle. So I've stripped half of the hackle off. And we'll take this up the post. And come back down and go forward. Trim off that. Go 
Not good. Turn off that. Turn that down. Hackle pliers again on my peacock curl. Good. Secure that. Turn it off. Remove that. Finish. Remove your tying thread. Turn this around. Fix the wings in a second. And we need to put our tying thread back on. Go down right down into the base of the thorax across the end of your tying thread over just to lock it off and we can remove that and we take our hackle tie off our hackle, making sure you don't catch any of the barbules. There you go. Lock that off. Remove the hackle. Take your whip finisher and go under the barbules again. So you don't tie any of them down. That one to lock it. And just a drop of varnish on there. Finish her again. There we go. Like so. Remove that. Okay, and just put that back in. There we are. We can adjust the wings a little if you want them more out to the sides. And that's it. That's the quill bodied Wally Wing Emerger. And if you enjoy the videos, please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.